Hello and welcome to another uh, unboxing and review. This time it's for um, something called uh, Hozo Neo Ruler Go, which is a digital um, measuring tape. Uh, quickly unboxing, let's have a look what's uh, inside. So, another box which contains the ruler plus the uh, a few accessories a brief instruction manual so quite a nice pictorial um, instruction manual plus a qr code and how to use and basically uh, yeah it's a brief guide that's a, that's quite nice to have a full color guide and quite simple guide right over to the ruler itself so the ruler is well basically that while it when it's switched off and either side you have um I think this is a charging cable Yeah, it's a USB-C uh, charging cable. I'm not quite sure what's on the other side, but let's have a look. Uh, I think this is some kind of um, some kind of hook to attach over that. I'll uh, work out what that is. Um, in a little while so that's basically what you get uh, with this okay so over to the main um, measuring tape so this is the the front side so you've got the display there which is currently turned off and that's the back side you got a clip there uh, and then you got the measuring wheel at the bottom there um, the clip uh, come slides off to reveal the the charging port at the top there and those are just the um the holes to um has the clip so that basically slides on and then that in itself can be attached to a key ring or something they call a carabiner um yeah, so that's a quick uh, rundown of what the uh, the device is. You've got a control button there, and uh, you've got control button there, and then you've got the wheel as well, which uh, I'll show you in a second. Um, is used to navigate the various functions and the uh, the menus. Okay, so over to operation of the device. So the device is powered on by pressing the um, buttons on either side uh, down together and that activates the the main um, navigation menu so you've got uh, measuring ruler you've got scale ruler and you've got customized scale ruler i'm not quite sure what the difference between the two scale rulers are but uh, we'll, we'll find out in a in a few minutes and then you got settings back to ruler um, the button on the left hand side seems to be the confirm button and that one seems to be uh, a navigation or choice um, selection and you can also use the the, the wheel there for um, uh, navigating uh, options and uh, the menus um, just a couple of uh, pointers. The um, the display has got a, a kind of matte finish to it, which I'm not a great fan of because it it makes the display look a little bit uh, fuzzy to me. Whereas a shinier display, in my opinion, would have um, resulted in much sharper, crisper um, display. Anyway. That's uh, that's just personal choice. Um, 
the the second thing is the navigation is not the most intuitive um menu system and it can be a little bit confusing when you first pick this up which buttons do what but that basically seems to be the confirm button that seems to be the um option selection um however that does not always seem to be the case i'm just going to demonstrate how you start to use this for uh, measurement so press the uh, two buttons on either side to power it on and you normally going into measuring mode press the left button to confirm or the right button to cycle to the next option and on confirming you then get this menu so at the top you got the units if you click on that while it's on that one you'll start to confirm that you're uh, ready to measure the laser will turn on the um, basically as you rotate the wheel it will start to measure and then the uh, the option at the bottom just goes back to the um previous uh, previous menu there so if you go up to units press the left button to cycle through so you've got millimeters centimeters meters inches feet and inches feet and back to millimeters so once you're happy with that press the the right button until you get that blue box now you're ready to um, start measuring so I'm going to start with a simple measurement um, I'm just going to start with this this piece of paper so um, we'll see how well this accurately this measures it so press the left button to confirm and now this is indicating that and you should see a laser protruding at the bottom so line the laser up with um, your starting point and then as you move the wheel to the left so that's 200 millimeters and I did measure that so that's uh, 20 centimeters so that's uh, yeah that's almost spot on and as you and in order to make another measurement I'll quickly demonstrate this so you always get that animation so that's ready to so you can see the crosshairs so as you move to the right you're incrementing the measurements and if you go back over to the left you're actually decreasing the measurements so if you kind of overshoot you can go back to um, a particular point uh, to take the measurement there once you lift it off that gives you the reading for the um, for the tape Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to measure a curved um, line or surface. So, with the ruler in uh, measure mode, uh, the animation is now suggesting that uh, you trace the lines, align up the, um, the crosshairs with the start, and you continue to trace that as closely as you possibly can and that's measured at uh, well about 36.8 centimeters or 368.7 millimeters to be precise so that's how you'd measure um, curved surfaces and uh, you could use this to measure um, clothing items with um, necklines and things like that, upholstery, all that sort of thing.
Okay, so on to the the, the second mode. Um, so from the main menu, if you press the right button to navigate to the scaled ruler, press left button to confirm, and you're presented with um, the following. So at the top you got the units. Um, the blue box means uh, if you press confirm you're ready to measure and then you got that um, that figure there 1 to 10 which uh, represents a scale that you're, um, you're measuring according to. So if you press the right button uh, you can set the um, scale so at the moment I've got it to set to millimetres I'll leave it at millimetres press once again and allows you to set the scale so if you press the left button there um, so you got uh, a list of predefined uh, scales so 1 to 10 press it again 1 to 12 And you can also use the uh, the wheel to navigate. Um, so select your select the scale according to what you're working with. Uh, I'm just going to say um, I don't know one to twenty. Press the left button to confirm. And now if I press the left button again, that will activate the uh, the laser crosshair, so I'm ready to uh, measure. So imagine that this is a, a scale drawing of a building. So, okay, the animation pops up and you can see the laser crosshair. So if I measure from there, To here and the total measurement for that is um, 200 millimeters so on a 1 to 20 scale that's um, 4,000 millimeters okay within the settings you can set the orientation for the display So it can be either horizontal or vertical. I actually prefer vertical, but you know, that's just me. Um, the other settings you've got is you can set it to either left or right handed mode so I'm right handed so I'll set that to right hand and the other setting you've got is uh, you got the scales I'm not going to go too much into that So you've got a predefined set of um, scales which you'll automatically use um, and these include metric and um, imperial. Okay, just to summarise, um, things I do like about this, um, it's very, very easy to um, measure curved lines or surfaces, so trace out curved lines and surfaces. Um, it's great for um, getting measurements straight off a scale drawing uh, to actual measurements. Um, it's... Um, 
I'd say reasonably it's reasonably easy to use, not the most intuitive to start with, but once you get used to the, um, the actual navigation and the um, and the buttons, then it's uh, it's reasonably uh, straightforward and easy to use. And you know, for curved um, for curves and curved surfaces and things like that, um, such as uh, upholstery. Uh, clothes making it's uh, it's a pretty invaluable tool it's nice and small um, the things I don't necessarily like, like about it is I feel that that display could be uh, a little bit brighter a little bit sharper um, the matte finish gives it a slightly um, I suppose modern um, but slightly fuzzy look uh, I'd have preferred a shinier um, surfaces screen which would have made the um, the screen a little bit brighter and sharper in my opinion um, the um, the button navigation take, takes a bit of getting used to but once you get used to it it's reasonably easy to, to navigate um, it is USB uh, C rechargeable, so no batteries uh, or anything to replace. So um, overall, if you're um, having to take measurements off scale drawings, you're having to uh, measure lots of um, regularly measure curved surfaces, then um, I think this is a this is a very very good option, and uh, it's it's actually reasonably uh, well priced for. Um, what uh, what it's capable of so um thanks very much for watching um if you have any comments please leave them uh or questions please leave them in the comments below um thanks very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video thank you please subscribe and like